this might be one of the best book I've read on data engineering. Till now my go-to book was this designing data intensive application but this book is all about overall data system design. The path I took to become a data engineer was very scattered. I learned few things from some blogs, videos, books and many different things. One thing I always focused on is having strong fundamentals. Tools come and go but the fundamentals remain same for the longer period of time. So learning data engineering has two parts. One is focusing on the core fundamentals and theoretical concept and second is learning about tools and the framework where you can apply all of those concepts in real world. You will find many different resources to learn tools in the framework but it is very challenging to find the good resources to learn the fundamentals. When I was learning about fundamentals, I had to refer multiple books and pick the best part of it to understand all of those concepts. This book covers every aspect of data engineering. When we generally talk about data engineering, we mainly focus on the execution part, mainly data pipeline extracting data from multiple sources, transforming that data and then loading that data onto some target location. But the data engineering is more than that. You will also need to learn about security, data management, data architecture, governance and many more different things. So let's talk about what you will learn from this book and what you should expect at the end. This book is divided into three parts. Part 1 focuses on the foundation and the building blocks of data engineering. Part 2 focuses on the data engineering life cycle in depth. Part 3 is all about security, privacy and future of data engineering. This book will take you from very basic level to the advanced level. So it doesn't matter if you are from the non-tech background or if you are just a fresher or have been working in this field for the few years. You will find this book very easy to understand because this book is written in very simple language. There are no technical jargons. You can just read this book as a novel and you will understand everything. So part 1 starts with describing what is data engineering. This section will give you the basic idea of what data engineering is. In the data engineering life cycle, what are the skills required? and the responsibility of data engineering because as a data engineer it is not just about writing script and focusing on the technical aspect you also need to understand the business side of the things because everything you are doing is for the business only so the first chapter will give you the overview of data engineering and in the second chapter we take one step ahead and understand the different components of data engineering life cycle so just by reading first two chapter you will understand major part of data engineering the third and the fourth chapter is all about data architecture and choosing the right technology when we perform from data engineering in real world, we have to select set of tools and the framework to perform different actions. This is what the big data landscape looks like. You need to select the correct tools as per the requirement and build your data system. So how to choose right tools from this big data landscape? You will learn all of those different things in the third and the fourth chapter. It starts with the principle of good architecture, different types of data architecture design, data warehouse, data lake, modern data stack, data mesh and many more different things. Should you build your own server or choose the cloud platform? How to choose the right technology? Everything will be covered in the third and fourth chapter. After you complete reading the part one, you will have solid understanding of data engineering fundamentals. And when you go to the chapter two, that focuses on the individual components of data engineering life cycle and deep dive into it. And the first thing you will learn about is data generation. This might be one of the most important chapter according to me. The reason is most of the people who get into data fields such as data analysts, data scientists, machine learning engineers, they only focus on data cleaning or model building part. They don't even know how the data is generated on the first place. Having understanding of how the data is generated is very very important because data comes from multiple sources and various different formats such as APIs, RDBMS, web analytics, sensors. You should have understanding of how all of these data are getting generated and what are the different formats they are coming from. After you understand about the data generation, then you will learn about data storage. This starts with the basic, the hardware level storage such as SSD, RDD, RAM. Then it talks about one level above such as file storage, block storage, object storage, Hadoop file system. And then one more level above such as data warehouse, data lake, lake house and many more. After you learn about the data storage, then you will learn about how to ingest this data into system. Again, data is coming from the multiple different sources at different frequency and interval. So should you use batch processing or real-time streaming? All of these things are very important to consider when you design the ingestion system. You will learn about many important concepts such as understanding how to handle CDC, change data capture, event streaming, webhooks, data sharing and many more. Once you ingest the data, then you also have to think about the transformation of this data. This chapter starts by talking about queries, mainly writing SQL queries. 
Data modeling one of the most important skill you need to know as a data engineer. These are some of the core database fundamentals that are very very important to know as a data engineer. When we write our transformation job, we need to consider multiple things. Who is going to use this data? What kind of data or the column is important for the business? You can't just pull the random data and pass it forward. You have to work with the business stakeholders, analysts, machine learning engineers to understand the requirement and then choose and write your transformation job according to that requirement only. So the last chapter will focus on the data serving part. Now part 3 is little bit short but very important. It talks about the security, privacy and the future of data engineering. Because the first concern of any company when they try to migrate their data onto cloud system or use the data for the data processing, they think about the security and the privacy of their data. If I put my data onto cloud platforms, will it be secure? What kind of encryption we are using? Is the network secure when we transmit our data from one system to another system? All of these things are very important for you to know as a data engineer. You will learn about all of these best practices in this chapter and after that you will get the answer of future of data engineering and what you can expect. Overall this book is a gold mine for anyone who is starting their career in data engineering or have been working in this field. This book will give you the strong fundamentals for your data engineering so when you appear for your next interview, you can answer all of these questions they ask. Now let's talk about one of the most important part of this video. Now if you watch this video till the end, then I have a surprise for you. All you have to do is like this video and comment something below. I will choose two people and I will give this book for free. So it is very simple like this video and comment something and I will randomly choose two people. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you did then don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video.